Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little question maximize the confusion of an exam. So a teacher writing a test with n true false questions with t denoting true and f denoting false. He wants to confuse the student by maximizing the number of consecutive questions with the same answer, so multiple trues or multiple false in a row. So you are given a string answer key where answer key i is the original answer to i's question. In addition, you are given a integer k, the maximum number of times you may perform the following operation. So change the answer key for any question to t or f. Set answer i to t or f. So return the maximum number of consecutive t or f in the answer key after performing the operation at most k time. So let's see the example. So you are given an answer key t, t, f, f and the k equal to so we operate two times uh, like a change the answer key for any question t or f so in this case output is four so because uh, if we change these two f to t so we will get the 40 right so that's why um in this case we should return four so yeah uh, on the other hand so you can uh, i think you can change uh this first t first two t to like a f so that we can get uh, 4 f so i think uh, that case is also good yeah so let me explain how to solve this question okay so let me explain with this example t t f f f t t and the k equal to two so to solve this question i use a sliding window technique and uh, i initialize the right pointer at index zero and uh, i don't use a left pointer this time and uh, basically we iterate through all characters one by one but uh, before that i initialize a few variables and uh, one is a uh, window size initialized with zero and uh, c stands for count so this is for counting a t character or f character so we know that uh, this string has only t or f so that's why i initialize like uh, t is one and f is uh, t is zero and f is zero and uh, so let's uh, begin so first of all we find t so in that case um add plus one to t And then after that, um, take a minimum number of t or f. So zero is a minimum number, right? So take a zero from a hash map. And then after that, if this minimum number is less than or equal to k, in that case, we can create a consecutive number, right? So that's why in that case, add plus one to window size. So it's time to expand the window size. So that's why plus one. And then move next. So now we find t again, so add plus one to t. So we do the same thing, um, take a minimum number, so zero, right? And uh, zero is less than or equal to k. So yes, so that's why in that case, add plus one to uh, window size. So, and then move next. And then we find f, so add plus one to uh, f. And uh, take a minimum number one right one right and uh, one is less than k so yeah so in the case um add plus one to window size three so uh, we can uh, change our character like uh, from t to f or f to t uh, twice so that's why so now window size is three so if um if i change this f to t we can get uh, like a three consecutive um, answer. So that's why window size is now three. So it looks good. And then um, move next. And then we find F. So add plus one to F. So take a minimum number. So they are same. So, um, okay. So we take uh, like this two. And uh, two is less than or equal to K. So that's why uh, add plus one to window size, now four. Yeah, so we can change um, these two t to f so that we can get a four f, or we can change these two f to t so that we can get a four t. So that's why window size is now four, looks good. And then move next, R, E, R, so we find a f, so add plus one to f, 
So take a minimum number, in this case, these two, right? And then um, 2 is less than or equal to k, so we can um, add plus 1 to window size, in this case, uh, 5. So if we change this to t to f, so we can get a 5f. So that is, that is a, like the a longest window size so far, so it looks good. And then move next, so we find t, and then add plus 1 to t, so 3, 3, and uh, we can take uh, um, one of them, so take uh, this 3, and uh, but uh, 3 is um, greater than k, right? So in that case, um, uh, we can we cannot create a consecutive um, answer with this range, right? So in that case, um, it's time to like uh, shrink the window size. So how can we do that? So it's simple. So we shrink from left side, and uh, we can calculate the uh, most left position. So now right pointer is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So R index minus window size. So 5 minus 5 is 0, right? So index 0, so we shrink like this. So now index 0 is out of uh, range. So we keep the um, like a length of 5. So in this case, um, we can uh, create a 5f, right? Uh, so we change this t and this t to f. So that we can um, have a 5f. So it looks good. So in this case, um, so this time we don't add a window size. Uh, we don't add a plus 1 to window size. So, but uh, this t is now out of range um, of window size here. So that's why we add minus 1 to t. So in this case, t should be 2 and f is 3. So now we are talking about uh, um, this range. So now f is 3 and t is 2. So it looks good. And then um, next, Again, we find t, so add plus 1 to t, and 3, 3, and then take a minimum number, so they are same, so take uh, this 3, and uh, compare uh, k with k, so 3 is greater than k, so we can't create a consecutive um, answers, so in this case, uh, we also we shrink the window size again, so now, um, we uh, right pointer is six, and the window size is five. So six minus five is one. So now one will be um, out of range. So should window size is like this. So three f and uh, two t. So that's why. So this t is now out of range. So add minus one to t. So two. So now t is 2 and f is 3. Yeah, and two, uh, t is 2 and f is 3. So yeah, looks good. And then move next, but uh, out of bounds. And then we finish. So after that, all we have to do is just a uh, uh, window size. And in this case, 5. Yeah, so that is the basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, window size with 0 and uh, count this is a hash map and uh, t is 0 and uh, f also 0 and then um, start iterating so in range and the length of answer key and the count answer key right plus equal one so every time we add plus one and then um, after that um, we take a, a minimum number of t or f so let's call a minor um, minimum and the count t or count f after that if 
minor number is less than or equal k. In that case, we can expand the window size. So window size plus equal one. Else, so in that case, we have to shrink window size. So count and the answer key and the right minus window size so minus equal one so target index number will be out of range so that's why we need to add minus one after that just return our window size yeah so let me submit it so looks good and a very efficient uh, algorithm so time complexity of this solution should be order of n, where n is a length of uh, answer key string. So this is uh, because uh, this solution code iterates through answer key string in a loop. So performing the constant time operation within each iteration. So that's why. And the uh, space complexity is um, O1. So because uh, space usage does not depend on the like, uh, input size. The space required for uh, count dictionary is uh, constant, uh, constant uh, since uh, it only stores the count of two characters, like a T and F. And the uh, other variables, like uh, window size and the minor, uh, is a constant, um, time, a constant space. So that's why um, overall time complexity should be order of 1. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.